Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Late Night Brew, where we talk the brews first, then we get around to what we're supposed to afterwards. Joining me for the next episode in the co-pilot series is once again, Neil. Welcome back, buddy. Hey, bud. Nice to be back with you. Absolutely. Now, before we dive into where and how everyone can interact with Copilot, what brew are you having with me? So today, um, once again, because this is still kind of part of my working day, I am drinking this. I don't know whether you can see that. This is uh, called Green Cola. All right. And I'm trying to get it in. Folk. There we go. Green there Cola. Go. It's, it's got <laughs> lots of Russian writing on it, but actually it's got no sugar, no caffeine. So you might as well say, well, what's the point of drinking it? Well, at least it's healthy anyway. So there we go. That's what I'm drinking today. I was going to say, it's uh, the fizzy. You know, sometimes you it's just the want the fizzy. It's the fizz. <laughs> uh, in... in uh opposite of that my brain just completely forgot the word for it i have a lime and salt lager which mm. is as it's heating up um it's very nice very light and got that little it's a hint of lime and salt right so you're not getting plowed over by it it's really good and it's one of those that as it gets hotter it gets easier to drink so it's super dangerous nice one cheers ah, cheers mate now jumping into it we, we touched on it a little bit in the last episode, and let's get into a little deeper of a detail. Where and, and how, really, can users in the environment be interacting with uh, Copilot? Yeah, great question. And I think it's probably one of the first things that users uh, are, are sort of concerned about. Um, I mean, you know, without getting into licensing and all the rest of it, but Microsoft 365 Copilot uh, is essentially surfaced through all of the apps that users are mainly familiar with. Um, the, starting, the starting point for most users is going to be things like uh, Microsoft Outlook or Microsoft Teams. Um, the co-pilot capabilities there allow users to sort of interact, summarizing meeting calls, uh, summarizing emails, getting uh, a little bit sort of deeper insight into some of those interactions that take place in those applications. Um, and then sort of beyond that, you know, and again, without getting into the whole sort of ecosystem of, of co-pilot, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, those familiar applications that users use on a daily basis are typically going to be the, the points of interaction with Copilot. Yeah, I've actually finally cracked into using Copilot in Excel, and yeah. it's so brilliant because yeah. I, I used to scavenge, right? Hey, how do I get like, this one particular data out of the... I just pulled Copilot. I need this data from yeah. these cells, like this is all I care about, do it. And it built the formula and I could just copy and paste. It was, it saved me probably 15 minutes of trying to suss out what the F this formula is trying to do. <laughs> yeah, to totally. And I, and I think that's really where the power of Copilot comes in. So that, you know, filling in the gaps in users' knowledge, filling in the gaps, uh, you know, most of us are, you know, moderately familiar with those applications like Word, Excel, like you said, but just getting a little bit more insight, getting a bit of a hand up uh, or a handhold with Copilot just allows us to do a little bit more with the time that we've got. So, yeah, oh, very, yeah. very powerful. It is. Uh, we could probably spend far too long just diving into all the, the different ways that we've already totally. been taking advantage of it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Maybe that'll be a special episode. <laughs> now, yeah. Microsoft, in all of their wisdom, uh, we all know Microsoft loves to, how they name things. So there's Copilot for 365, there's Copilot yeah. for Bing, there's Copilot for Windows. Uh, yeah. And I'm sure I'm missing a Copilot somewhere. <laughs> for, <laughs> for, for most organizations, though, I know it's going to come up. What's the real difference between you know, like you just said, the Copilot for the apps, the the 365, that integration. Yeah. And now Copilot for Windows. What, where's the, the break? What's the difference? Yeah. So I, I think that that's, for me, that's a fairly straightforward question to answer. And, and like you said, Buck, um, I think at the last count, there was something like 25 different Copilots or different Copilot capabilities. And they got only, they're only going to grow. But the, the main difference between uh, Windows Copilot and Microsoft 365 Copilot is really the data. 
So mm. within, within the context of Microsoft 365 Copilot, the data that it has access to is essentially the data that you have mm. access to in the context of your Microsoft 365 environment. Your Windows identity Club, yeah. access, yeah. Yeah, I mean, so the, so the fundamental difference is that, you know, that the, the data that Copilot can act on and that can respond to is trimmed to the position, to the permissions that you have within your Microsoft 365 environment. Um, Windows Copilot, on the other hand, is slightly more generic. It has access to the data that is stored on your local machine, so any data that's on your laptop. Plus, it also has access to the World Wide Web. So prompts that you provide through Windows Copilot are not necessarily permission trimmed in the same way. It can go out to the web and use the wealth of information that is available across the World Wide Web uh, to respond to those to the, to the queries and the prompts that you might uh, put into Windows Copilot. So there's a real fundamental difference in, in terms of data sets. Yeah, it, I would say it's pedantically, you know, you're, it's still limited by what you have permissions to, but it's permissions yeah. in the world of the internet and permissions of the world of your 365 organization. Yeah. And it's that scope. Yeah. Awesome. Well, yeah. that is a great note to end on because I was curious about that too. Cool. <laughs> Hopefully so, that's cleared it up. <laughs> it does. It does. Uh, that is actually quite neat. Uh, and I will probably play with Windows Copilot a little bit more now. Definitely. On, <laughs> if you are looking for any more information or want to reach out, get your organization ready for Copilot or just have questions, all our contact information is below. Until next episode, Neil. Cheers, mate. I appreciate it. Cheers, and we'll chat Good soon. To see you guys. Okay.